Hello, my name is Jane Lewis and I'm Principal of Shetland UHI and I'm delighted to welcome you to our first Shetland UHI prize giving ceremony. The new college was formed at the beginning of August, merging the NAFC Marine Centre, Shetland College and Train Shetland. You will be hearing about some very special students from those organisations who have achieved brilliantly and have been awarded prizes. Prize giving is an opportunity for us all to celebrate excellence and to recognise achievement. It's an opportunity we did not want to miss despite us being unable to do this in person in the current circumstances. The ongoing pandemic means that we have two years of awards to give today. I'm delighted to introduce you to Laura Burden, Deputy Director and Head of Training and Skills, who will introduce the Fishing Prizes. Thank you very much, Jane. I'm delighted to be presenting the Fishing Prizes today and all of the Fishing Prizes are um, sponsored by the Hunter and Morrison Trust. The first prize I'll be presenting is the Jeanette Williamson Prize. This prize is for a Deck Officer Fishing Class 2 student. Now this course on this occasion had to be run fully online due to the situation at the, during the pandemic, which made things even more challenging for students. And this particular student was very pleasant and always very hardworking and adapted really well to the online learning environment. Um, he did really well in his exams and attended very well with the um, live lessons and also engaged excellently with the class. I'm delighted to announce that the 2021 a winner of the Jeanette Williamson Prize is Ross Stewart. <laughs> the next prize that I'd like to award is the Forbes Watt Prize for Navigation. This particular prize is for an Officer of the Watch 500 student and I'll be awarding the 2020 and the 2021 prize. Now for the 2020 students, this was a particularly challenging year. Um, just at the end of their course, when they were due to set their exams, the exams were unfortunately cancelled due to the pandemic. And these students had to keep revising and keep preparing for exams, which were subsequently cancelled again. And these students didn't get to sit their exams until the end of the year. All of the, the class did exceptionally well, but this particular student was always keen to help others and very attentive in class and went on to do excellently in his exams, despite the challenging exam situation. He worked really hard and persevered very well during the whole um, course, which did go on much longer than expected. And the student for 2020 this year, this, um, on this occasion, is Michael Thomason. Now in 2021, due to the situation we'd experienced the year before, um, this was a fully online course for the Officer Watch 500s um, in 2021. This particular student was very bright and very conscientious, having done a lot of study before he even started on the course to make sure he was fully prepared for the exams that lay ahead. He was hardworking throughout and did well to help other students during a, a challenging situation of working online as well. Uh, he went on to do very well in his exams, and this student in 2021 is Martin Besant. I'd now like to introduce Ewan Robertson, who is our Senior Lecturer Computing, to award the Computing Prizes. Thanks, Laura. In the Computing Department, every year, we select just two students from our large range of courses, from our NQ, NC level, all the way up to our Honours degree level. So it demonstrates the, the high ability and the level of just selecting two students from a, from a wide range of courses. Our first prize is sponsored by Mesomorphic. And this student demonstrated a high standard of work consistently throughout the year. So our overall HNC computing student of the year goes to Ross Olson. Well done, Ross. You clearly demonstrated um, with all your submissions that you're working to a really high standard and capable of much higher level, uh, levels of work. Our second prize is sponsored by NB Communications. And this student not only demonstrated as well a high level, consistent level throughout the year, they engaged really well as a computing class rep. And they also engaged with lots of verbal communications, whether we were virtually online or in face-to-face. -face. So our overall HND Computer Science Student of the Year goes to Samuel Watt. Well done, Samuel. Um, can I ask just a, a final uh, thanks to our sponsors, 
to Maria Bella Mesomorphic and to David Nicol at MB Communications. Uh, thank you very much. And a final congratulations to our deserved winners, Ross and Samuel. Thanks very much, guys. And can I now just uh, pass you over to Stuart Fitzsimmons, the head of aquaculture training. Good morning. Um, I'd, on behalf of the aquaculture's training section, we'd like to introduce six prizes this morning um, for outstanding achievement in the modern apprenticeships level two, three, and four um, in aquaculture. Um, Basically, it, the level two is an entry level husbandry course designed for new starts um, that then progress into level three, more senior roles, and then into the senior site senior management roles of level four. Um, anyone that doesn't know much about aquaculture in Shetland um, and further afield, it's a very big industry. It's very challenging, both in the freshwater and marine phases. The staff and students must be very dedicated to their um, profession um, and they're very professional. So the students we've chosen today have been from a large category, um, have been the head and shoulders or more outstanding than others um, to achieve this award. So um, on behalf of the aquaculture section, um, for this for level two, the Jim Tate Award for 2020 goes to Bryden Pearson and 2021 goes to Victoria Kornikova. Um, for level three, the senior roles, um, again, more advanced than level two. Again, excellent, outstanding achievements has gone to Alexander Kankuti and Guy Tindall. Um, that's the Jim Tate Award as well. Okay. Um, for the level four, the site senior management roles, um, the 2020 award has gone to Cameron Cowie and the 2021 has gone to John Henderson. Uh, congratulations to all those winners and uh, well done on your hard work and I'm glad it's been um, recognised and rewarded. Thank you. Okay, um, after the Aquaculture Awards, I'd like to introduce Emily Garrick um, to the Senior Business and Hospitality Lecturer. Over to you. Thanks, Stuart. The next prize that we'll move on to is the SVQ2 um, Business and Administration. When this person first started at the college, they were very hesitant about starting the course. They lacked self-belief and were worried about becoming a student. As the weeks moved on, she got used to the pace of the study and she started to blossom. She completed every unit early and turned out some very good quality pieces of work. Welcoming feedback and was always put into action the advice given to create some very good storyboards. She then created some short videos um, of her work activities and these videos were then used to create a standard for other students. The determination and hard work and the willingness to learn turned out some very good results this year. Well done. The SVQ2 Business and Administration Student of the Year for 2020 goes to Angela McWilliam. I now introduce Raymond Smith, lecturer in SVQ, assessor in hospitality. Um, thank you very much, Emily. Um, I'm here on behalf of the, also the Business and Hospitality Department. Um, last year, even with what happened with COVID, we had a very special student who managed to get through the COVID lockdown of hospitality in his placement. We went through all that. Uh, he, had a, he did a great job in his placement. Uh, that person, I must say, came to the college lacking in confidence and direction. But once he started with the placement, he suddenly found his niche and I think his vocation for life. He continued at the same time in the Shetland UHI, which was the college, um, practical classroom, training kitchen, um, learning and developing skills, crafts and knowledge. And as with his personality and his new motivation, he uh, has been absolutely a fantastic student. He followed all instruction particularly well in the field of practical cookery, although the course really um, had many units about developing himself in different aspects of the hospitality industry. 
I'd like to say personally, um, it, it was just fantastic to see such a fine young person develop and actually come to find out what his potential was, what his future was. And after the placement, the um, local partnership restaurant who took him on for the placement has now offered him a full-time job. And we're hoping soon that he'll be following um, the SVQ path, which he's already told me he wants to follow in professional cookery. The NC Hospitality Student of the Year for 2021 is Mr. Sean Hoseason. And congratulations to Sean. I'd like now to introduce Howard Thompson, the Senior Lecturer, Engineering and Nautical. Thank you, Raymond. Good morning. I'm delighted to be asked to present the awards and prizes for students who have excelled whilst undertaking shore-based engineering courses delivered at the Scalaway campus. Our first engineering award is the Jim Thomas Memorial Trophy. Jim Thomas was a former colleague who sadly passed away whilst in service with us several years ago. He particularly admired students who showed a willingness to learn and had genuine enthusiasm for engineering. The trophy is an award to an engineering student who has completed our one-year National Certificate in Engineering course, either as a modern apprentice or as an independent student, and who also displayed the um, qualities that Jim admired. For the academic year concluding in 2020, we had two very able candidates who certainly met the criteria. We were unable to separate the two, so we've decided to make this a joint award. And therefore, I am pleased to announce that for 2020, the Jim Thomas Memorial Award Trophy jointly goes to Jacob Marsh and Kyle Henderson. The student who we have selected for the 2021 award was also a very able young engineer who will no doubt go on to have a very successful career within engineering. I am pleased to announce that for 2021, the Jim Thomas Memorial Trophy goes to James Johnson. Our next award is the Shetland UHI Engineering Academy Student of the Year Prize. The Engineering Academy is a one-year course delivered jointly between Shetland UHI and the Shetland Schools. It is a programme of study, both academic and practical, that hopefully engages students to consider an engineering career. Throughout both 2020 and 21, the students had to adapt and cope with our rather strange learning environment that we've had to put up with. And uh, whether it was online or doing a lot of remote study. Uh, the two students we have selected have both coped successfully in showing a willingness to learn combined with a very positive attitude throughout and both students I am pleased to say have moved on to, st to the next stages of their engineering careers. So for the 2020 the Shetland UHI Engineering Academy Student of the Year goes to Jake Rendell and for 2021 the Shetland UHI Engineering Academy Student of the Year Prize goes to Michael Polson. The final Engineering Awards are for the Engineering Modern Apprentice of the Year. The Engineering MA usually takes place over a three to four year period, starting in the first year at college and with the remaining period within the workplace. To achieve the MA, students have to take a significant amount of responsibility for their own progression, whilst also showing an in-depth understanding of their chosen field, working successfully with others, and displaying the capabilities that will ensure they will be competent engineers. I am pleased that we have two very able young engineers to receive the awards for 2020 and 2021. So the, engineer, the Shetland UHI Engineering and Modern Apprentice of the Year for 2020 goes to Ross Kutz, who did his MA whilst an employee of HMP Engineers. And the Shetland UHI Engineering and Modern Apprentice of the Year for 2021 goes to Ben Howells, who is an employee of Shetland Islands Council's Ferry Service at Selenes. 
I would now like to hand over to Anthony McLeod, Senior Lecturer of, of Construction. Thank you, Howie. There are three prizes for the construction section to be awarded this year. All three prizes are sponsored by the Shetland Construction Training War Group and come with a £100 prize as well. The first prize is for our Construction Further Education Student of the Year. He enrolled in our Foundation Apprenticeship in Civil Engineering, demonstrating a high level of engagement from the start, then maintaining enthusiasm even when we had to go online. I'd also like to congratulate him on recently securing a modern apprenticeship in civil engineering working on Shetland's Viking Energy wind farm. The winner is John Holt. The next prize is for our Carpentry and Joinery Student of the Year, which is awarded along with the Gary Cooper Memorial Shield. Having secured an apprenticeship with a relatively new start company, he has proven to be a very valuable employee, producing high quality work both on site and in the college. The winner is James Kerr. The third prize is for a Construction Higher Education Student of the Year. This student has demonstrated a keen interest and in working knowledge of the construction sector with having already completed a modern apprenticeship in carpentry and joinery. He then enrolled on the HNC Construction Management Programme, which he recently completed with excellent feedback from all centres delivering, which were Parth, Murray and Shetland Colleges. The winner is Aaron Smith. So I'm now going to hand over to David Grant, Senior Lecturer for Extended Maritime Courses. Well, thank you, Anthony. Um, the first prize I'm going to introduce today is the Clyde Marine Training um, Prize. And Clyde Marine is the largest cadet training company who manage a range of cadets uh, and from companies um, and have been sending cadets to us since 2005. Um, this, pre uh, this prize is presented to the best Phase 5 Clyde M Marine cadet in terms of their overall performance at college and sea. Um, for 2020, uh, this student was a bit older when they joined the cadetship, uh, so it took them a little bit of time to get back into learning, but they worked diligently and were always keen to en engage with their classmates and help them when they could throughout the three-year programme. Um, uh, and I'm very happy to say the 2020 winner of the Clyde Marine Cadet of the Year is Corey Forrest, who is sponsored by Soulstad through Clyde Marine. <laughs> The 2021 winner is a student who produced high quality work throughout the three year programme. Whether it was an exam in thermodynamics or making an artefact in the workshop, they were always done to a high standard. Uh, the 2021 winner of the Clyde Marine Cadet of the Year is Ryan Polson, who is sponsored by Northlink through Clyde Marine. Okay, moving on. Um, the next prize that I'm going to introduce is the Bells Nautical Trust Prize, uh, awarded by the Bells Nautical Trust, which is a Scottish charity who sponsor various maritime educational projects. And this prize is awarded for endeavour and achievement by a final year deck cadet. Um, for 2020, this quiet student proved to be professional and intelligent throughout their cadetship. He was always focused in class and achieved high marks in all his exams. Um, so the 2020 Bells Nautical Trust Prize goes to Michael Watt, who is sponsored by Northlink through Clyde Marine. The 2021 winner is a student who excelled throughout his cadetship. He was always keen to engage with the lecturing staff and he was always willing to help his fellow students in the classroom. Uh, I'm very happy to say the 2021 Bells Nautical Trust Prize goes to Alistair Bendel, who is sponsored by Dow. Moving on. 
The next prize is presented by the Northern Lighthouse Board. Uh, the Northern Lighthouse Board is the General Lighthouse Authority responsible for the waters surrounding Scotland and Isle of Man. Their principal concern is safety and they provide na navigational aids to help seafarers operate safely in the coastal waters. Uh, there are two prizes that they award each year to our Phase 3 cadets. One is awarded to the best deck cadet in, the, in their group in terms of their academic achievement excellence in assessment and consistent professional performance and the other is awarded to the best engineering cadet in those categories. For the 2020 DEC prize this student was professional throughout phase three balancing the role of student representative for Scalawa campus and the student association with his studies. He achieved high marks in all assessments and was willing to help his fellow cadets if required. Um, so I'm very happy to say the 2020 DEC Northern Lighthouse Board Prize winner is Alistair Bendel, who is sponsored by Dow through Anglo East. <laughs> Moving on to the 2021 prize, uh, the 2021 DEC winner is a cadet who excelled in Phase 3. He worked tire tirelessly throughout and really embraced the online learning. He asked for clarification when required and achieved superb exam results. I am delighted to announce that the 2021 DEC Northern Lighthouse Board winner is Jack Marwick, who is sponsored by Northstar through SSTG. <laughs> Moving on to the engineering prizes. Uh, for the 2020 engineering prize, this hardworking student maintained a high standard of work throughout the phase, whether it was an academic assessment or a practical task in the workshop. Uh, the 2020 Northern Lighthouse Board Prize winner in engineering is Darren Eldridge, who is sponsored by Dow through Anglo Eastern. <laughs> Uh, the 2021 engineering winner is a student who adapted well to the online and blended learning of phase three. He achieved high marks in all assessments and produced quality work in the workshop. The 2021 Northern Lighthouse Board prize winner in engineering is Arthur Polson, who is sponsored by North Star through SSTG. Okay, now I'm going to pass over to Kevin Briggs, Deputy Principal. Thank you, David. <clears throat> I'd like to introduce the prize for ESOL on behalf of Community Learning. Uh, this would have been introduced by Vela, but she unfortunately can't be with us, so I have a prepared statement for her. Uh, the purpose of uh, ESOL, or English for Speakers of Other Languages, is to prepare our students to communicate uh, effectively in everyday situations, including work and study. Language acquisition is not something that can be taught, uh, completely, rather there is a huge amount of hard work that goes into us on the part of our, our students. Uh, moving to a new country and learning that language is no mean feat, and our students at Shetland College um, do extremely well to gain qualifications at the same time as living their busy lives. The winner of this year's ESOL prize completed her ESOL uh, higher last year, achieving an A. Um, she has shown utter conscientiousness this year as she has de dedicated herself not only to studying extremely hard for the exam, but also to being inquisitive about the Eng English language, to create a, a warm atmosphere in the classroom and to support her fellow students as a class rep. Despite having a busy life, she has put all, all into her ESOL st studies and stepped up 100% of the time. It is with great pleasure I announce the winner of the 2021 ESOL Prize is Junji Farkash. <laughs> Extremely well deserved, Junji, and I know you'll go on to uh, achieve your goals with the determination you have. I'd like to pass on now to uh, Simon Clark, our Senior Lecturer, Creative and Cultural Industries, Arts and Humanities. Thank you, Kevin. The prize for Creative Industries has, provided, has been provided by the Muriel Centre, Shetland Arts. This year, we have decided to give the prize to a graduate of the BA Fine Arts Programme. The student started with Shetland College in 2014 on the NC Art and Design Programme, progressing to the degree initially on a part-time basis before becoming a full-time student. Although this is an award for the past year, the student has stood out over a number of years. In 2018-19, working as, as an assistant for Shetland Arts to install Andy Holden's Natural Selection exhibition 
at the Anderson Institute, part of a national tour. Since then, she has established her own creative voice in spatial practice, and this year distinguished herself by not only achieving a very good first-class degree, but also securing the prestigious New Graduate Award 2021 from the Society of Scottish Artists. So that's a, a national award. Well done, Kirsty Smith, an exceptional achievement against the very difficult backdrop of the pandemic. <laughs> Handing over now to Susan Minari, Senior Lecturer in Health and Care. Thank you, Simon. The Health and Care Department covers many areas, including care, nursing, early years, social sciences, teacher education and hairdressing. This year, we've decided not to award a prize to individual students. Instead, we would like to acknowledge the accomplishments and multiple contributions of all the health and care students who have successfully completed courses this year. You have shown unprecedented resilience and commitment during this generation-defining pandemic. The COVID-19 virus has turned the world and your studies upside down. You quickly adapted and learned new ways of studying and interacting with your lecturers and assessors. You embraced technology and all the challenges that that entails. You had to work independently while juggling all the difficulties that came with lockdown. For many of you, your focus and priorities had to shift and your studies had to come secondary to homeschooling and supporting your family. It is important to highlight that many of the health and care students are also frontline workers. They work in care homes, healthcare, education and nursery settings with the huge responsibility of supporting Shetland's most vulnerable people. Shetland UHI recognises the valuable contribution that these students have made to Shetland's social services workforce and local communities during this challenging time. Finally, to all health and care graduates, while your college experience may not have been what you expected, you have adapted and grown during this time and you should be extremely proud of what you've achieved. The health and care department would like to offer its warmest congratulations to all our graduates on your academic success and wish you all the very best for the future. I now hand you over to Professor Jane Lewis, Principal of Shetland UHI. I would like to finish with some thanks. First, I would like to thank all of you who do so much to support our college, in particular our industry partners, student sponsors and fellow education providers. It is a very special thing seeing students achieve their potential. It is special for the academic staff who have taught and supervised students in their studies and helped them to their achievements. And I would like to take this opportunity to thank them for their dedication to student success. It is special too for many other staff, administrators, technicians, librarians, secretaries and others who work to make our college function smoothly. They have also played a crucial but often hidden part in supporting students and I would like to take this opportunity to thank them for their dedication. I know it is also very special to partners, parents, families and friends who have helped our students to their achievements today in all manner of different ways and my thanks to them for their support. Finally, to our completing students, my thanks to you for all your hard work and your contribution to our learning community. Whatever you are doing next, whether it's more study, a new job, or return to an existing job, we wish you every success for the future.